Hello and welcome to Drumming Mad. This video we've put together because we have come across in our own experience the difficulties of organising loads and loads of sheet music at band practice. Uh, you know, you have all of this sheet music everywhere, uh, some of it's not up to date, other, other sheet music scribbled all over with changes, so much that you can't read it. Um, the pipe major put, brings in a new tune and you've got to go digging through your files to find the, the score that you used to play for it. It's a never-ending battle with trying to find the correct sheet music and also being able to present it neatly to new players and beginners and things like that. So. Here enters this wonderful new world of the cloud and one such tool that utilizes this is Google Drive. We have found that this Google Drive is insanely easy and also got some really great free features that really help us in keeping our sheet music tidy and readily available, organized, up to date, all of the above. It's super easy and it's really handy. So we wanted to put this video together to show you exactly how it works because uh, it's a lot easier to show you rather than trying to type it all up in a blog article. So all you need is a Google account. You don't need a Gmail address, although you can use it with a Gmail address as well, um, but all you actually need is a Google account, which is not the same thing. Uh, so basically you can just go to go to any browser, it doesn't have to be Chrome which is associated with Google, uh, we do find it works best just because it's fast, um, but yeah you can use Safari, you can use Firefox, um, yeah any browser, just open it up and go to google.com and up here in the right hand corner there will be a sign in button if you're, if you're not already using Google. Um, which I am, uh, but if you're not already using it, you'll have a sign in button up here. Just click the sign in. Uh, you can create a new account or you can use an existing one. Uh, totally up to you and your band and how you want to structure it. Um, it is a good idea if you nominate one person to handle all of the sheet music, usually the lead drummer or the drum sergeant, or if they're one and the same person. Um, so that they can keep everything up to date and organised rather than having lots of people contributing and it can get a bit messy then. Uh, it also means that if that person leaves and you've got a generic band account you can hand that over um, so it's not tied to anyone's personal account that way. So if you sign in then you'll have your little icon up here um, which may just be a blank avatar um, or your band's logo if you want to get creative and then over here you can click on these squares and down here or anywhere in here you'll find your Google Drive icon. So if we click on that it'll take us through to our Google Drive folder. So this just works like any folder filing system on your Mac or PC, very similar to your folders. You can have it in icons or you can also have it like this. Uh, I find it easier to read like that, um, but again, totally up to you and very pers personalizable. Um, okay, so in here, this is your My Drive is your top level folder. So how I have managed this for our pipe band is I've created pipe bands folder and then the pipe band in here, and then another folder here. I have lots of folders. Uh, yours will be empty if you haven't used it before, or you may be using it already. Basically you want to create a folder to house all of your music and scores that you want available for your drum core. So this is the folder that I've created here for our band. So if we go inside this folder, we've organised all of our music by time signature and then again we've got jigs, reels, slow airs just to make it a little bit clearer. You can find the same score that's in here in another folder as well. Um, that's getting a little bit complicated for now. Let's just say that you can file it however it makes sense to you and your band. Uh, I've also down here, we have a list of all the tunes. Um, so this is actually a Google Sheet. It's very similar to Excel. Well, it's actually pretty much the same as Excel. Um, and you can create that. It comes with Google Drive. You can create it by clicking New and Google Sheets and that'll create a new Google Sheet which is basically a spreadsheet. Um, to create the folders as well, sorry I should have mentioned that, mentioned that. 
Uh, you just click new and you can create new folders, new Google Docs, which is just like a Word document, and new Google Sheets, which is just the same as Excel. So I've used a Google Sheet to create a list of our band's tunes. And there they all are. And again, you can lay this out however you like. We've got the tune name, tune type, time signature, snare score, and then any notes that players may need to remember things about those particular tunes or scores. So we've got them all listed down here. If we have a look at how this actually works, as you can see, these are actually hyperlinks. So let's click on one and see what happens. So if we go to this one and click on it once, it brings up this little link here. Click on it again and it brings up the score. So this is really handy and you can print straight from here. You can download it and save it locally onto your computer, uh, whatever you'd like to do with it, or you can just close it and go back to your list and click on another one. So this list is really handy for players that have just joined your band and they want to go through all the tunes and learn everything or even current players um, just for remembering oh, what you know what do we play with um, that set again uh, these are the two that we play with that set right okay so what's that score again let's click on it open it up and there it is so it's really great because these are all this is because it's on the cloud you can access this Google Sheet on your phone, on your iPad, on your laptop, uh, wherever you've got internet and your mobile device, you can bring this up and click on it and you've got your score right in front of you. It's really handy. So, where are these scores that we're clicking to? How do you actually set these hyperlinks up? I'll show you how to do that. If we go back to our Google Drive, so that was a Google Sheet, this is Google Drive. So the Google Sheet is housed within Google Drive. In our Google Drive over here, we've got all of our music in folders. So if we just go into the 2.4 folder, you can see we've got our PDFs in here. So we've got Black Bear, double click on it, opens up, we've got the tune. So yeah, and all you do is you just click and drag your from your desktop or wherever your music is filed on your computer and drag them into your Google Drive and they are in then in there available to everyone else. So any scores that we have uh, recordings of as well as just the PDF score, we've actually got the recordings within a folder with the scores. If we go back to our list, our tune list here, and we click on this one for example, it will actually open up, rather than going straight to the score, it will open up that folder. So then a player can open the folder and they can go into the score if they want to look at the score, or if they're not very good at sight reading or they just want to get a reminder of how the tune goes and you've got a recording in here, they can open up the, the recording and listen to that. So, there we go. So that's another way of doing it. So if we go back here again to our main folder structure, the way that we add those hyperlinks, we go in here and we want to create we actually want to, sorry, go back one, we want to create a link to this folder, just how we clicked on it then. So this one above here has no link on it yet. So let's make a link from this uh, cell here, this one, straight through to that folder. So we need to go back a level to the folder, click once on the folder, and up here we have a link icon, get shareable link. So you can click on that, Copy this link, which we'll do, and then go back in here and select the cell that you want to turn into a hyperlink, and then up here we have the insert link button. So you click on that and it'll bring up this box and paste your link in there and click apply. And there you go, that's all you do. So it does take a little bit of time to set up all the hyperlinks, but once it's done, you're ready to go. So let's just test that and make sure it works. It should go through to the folder. There you go. So that works. So all you need to do for your band is create your folder, drop all your scores in it, go back here, um, create a Google Sheet, and then populate your Google Sheet with all your tunes that your band plays. So we've got the tune and we've also set it out in 
the sets that they're played in and then add in the score name that you play for that tune and then turn it into a link back to the score folder or the PDF that you've added into your Google Drive. Then all we have to do to get this to be available and easy for your drum core to actually find, all you need to do is send them a link to the folder that they can click to access it. So if you go to the top level of your folder and the same thing here, select it, it'll bring up the get shareable link icon up here. Another way you can do it is simply right click and then share. This will bring up a few more options so it's the same thing. Copy this uh, link, paste it into an email to your drum core and just tell them to click that to access the scores. I also send them a link to the actual list. So same thing, right click, share and copy that and send them that link as well and just tell them that one is a link to the folder of all of your scores and the tune list the other link is just a link straight through to your tune list where they can just click straight into whichever score that they need. That's how you set it up and how you use it. What I wanted to stress about um, the benefits of using Google Drive for this is it's instant um, instant and live updates. So if you're making a change to say you want to change um, the, the, the tune that's played in a set or the score has now changed to a new name. As soon as you update this it's live so everyone who clicks on that link that you've sent them they will see the new change straight away. If they're actually looking at it while you're making the change, they will actually see you typing in the new change. It's that live. It's really great. So whenever you add a new score and you can rest assured that your whole drum core, providing they're going in and <laughs> getting the scores from here, um, you know, when they click in here and open up their score, you can rest assured that that score is going to be the most up-to-date score because you've just updated it and they're not going to be able to see the old score. They will see the new link to the new score. So it's extremely live. Um, it's extremely handy for keeping everything organized and up-to-date and just readily available, as I said, on your phone, on your laptop, on your iPad at, bram at band practice. You, know, you can just bring it up on the iPad at practice. It's really great. Um, also because you can also have your recordings of the scores and listen to those at practice or at home, wherever you like. Um, it's super, super handy. Okay, now if you're not using Google and you are using Office 365, which is the Microsoft equivalent to Google, uh, you can actually do very similar to this in Office 365. I use Google Drive, uh, but I believe it is very similar and quite easy as well. The live updates in Office 365 do take a little bit longer to update, I believe, um, but it's still relatively good. Um, I'm not sure how many gigabytes you get with Office 365 free version. I know with Google accounts you get uh, 15 gigabytes of storage for free. So if you're just using it as a generic band account and you just have your music and scores in there, 15 gigabytes will last you a long time. So I hope this has been informative and helpful for you and that it can help you organize your band's music and have it ready and available. Just send a link to your drum core. Uh, when you have new players, they'll be super impressed when you go, yep, here's the link. You can look at all our music here, start learning straight away. Uh, you can listen to how the scores go with the recordings. Just click on the link. Super impressive for new players and great for just keeping everything organized and at your fingertips. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative and hopefully it can help you to keep your music organized, up to date and readily available during practice and also for new players so that you can keep them on board and keep them enthused and happily drumming. Make sure you sign up to our mailing list. Uh, you can sign up on our website or you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and we'll make sure we send as many tips, tricks and resources as we can your way so that we can keep everyone drumming and grow our amazing craft around the world. 
So happy drumming, everyone, and we'll see you on Drumming Mad.